Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys are doing good today. I'm doing pretty darn well. Today we are going to work on a nice little project uh, from Halo that you guys may or may not know. Uh, this is uh, the Warthog. Last episode we covered, or we tried, and I, I think I was fairly successful in uh, recreating the warthog so i figured this episode we would come back and i would uh, try and or not not the warthog we recreated the scorpion and so i figured this episode i'd come back and we could recreate the warthog so i don't know which version of the warthog i'm going to recreate they're they're really all the same like either one's got a big gun on it nor one doesn't you know something along those lines uh, but, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. I, I'm thinking this one's going to be pretty simple and, uh, you guys will laugh at me because I am actually going to recreate this one with, um, a dual wheel turning or, or all wheel turning. Uh, that was one thing like you guys tore me apart or I, I shouldn't say all of you guys, but I got torn apart, uh, for my dual wheel turning in my, uh, my last vehicle or like some of my first vehicles. Uh, was just torn apart by dual wheel turning. So today we're going to be doing that, but um, yeah, shouldn't be too big of a deal here. Uh, I want to take out probably that much and then from right there. Yeah, that should probably be all right. And then we're going to use off-road suspension with these as well. And then I always like to use these turning points. They're always my favorite to use. Uh, and then we need bearings. So let's go ahead. We'll put the bearings on. Um, and then we'll put these on. But again, we always we always need these little sections right here. And you know what? I'll go ahead and replace that. Uh, but yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's actually get rid of that, that, that. I didn't mean to get rid of this one. But it should be all right. And you know, really, I'm not sure why I'm getting rid of the two outer ones. But I am. But it should be okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's change this up just ever so slightly. Just boom, boom. And there we go. All right. So I think we'll just have it come up one. What do you guys think? I think just coming up just one should probably help out. There we go. Now, you know, it won't be such of a high center of gravity. And that's what I worry about a lot of times. Uh, with vehicles like this is that we'll run into like a very high center of gravity um, and you know it'll it'll topple over real easily and everything the if I remember correctly the uh, warthog actually did like have like turning problems if you I don't think it ever yeah it was able to flip I kind of remember and like it's been so long since I've played Halo but I, I do kind of remember it turning over at times if you turn too tight. But uh, it was definitely one of my favorite games growing up was was Halo. And uh, I played it for a long time. That's actually where the first iteration of my IGN Drax uh, came from was from Xbox 360. Or actually Xbox, not even 360. It was like the first iteration of Xbox Live uh, was I was Drax and then... And then uh, I kind of switched it up. There were some other names that I went by as well, but Drax was kind of the major one. Uh, I even was a part of some gaming communities uh, like uh, KSI um, was one that I was a part of for a long time. Uh, that was really where I got my love of uh, gaming or not, not gaming, but my first love of like online gaming was back uh, when I used to hang out on those servers or hang out with those people. So yeah, we're going to do all-wheel drive on this because, you know, that's one thing I really think uh, is a Warthog is definitely all-wheel drive. And we also have all-wheel turning here as well. So I'm going to take that out and then I want to see everything should, if I turn to the left, no. So it looks like these two definitely need a switch. That works. That works out really well, actually. All right. So then we can kind of up these. Uh, let's do just a couple more. Four. Four. This is going to be real heavy in the front end. 
I'm kind of hoping that that compression on those springs will will help us out here but it should turn fairly sharp which is awesome that warthog did turn very sharp I remember that okay cool all right so let's go ahead I think that's gonna work out really well for us and I think I think I want to drop these seats back one so let's uh, let's do that bust this one out here uh, go right there uh, actually we'll take this one over to here and then uh, we should just have to reconnect all this stuff that's unfortunate that I did that but it was necessary in my opinion okay and then we should be all set there so now let's go ahead um, the warthogs had kind of a uh, Oh gosh, what do you want to call it? Let's come up there a little bit. Um, wheel wells, I guess, is what they would be called. Uh, so yeah, we'll put that on. Um, they had bumpers. I think I actually want to change my bumper around a little bit. Uh, we'll come out to there. Oh, we'll actually come out one past. Like that? Yeah, like that. All right, wait, no, yeah? Yeah, one past. Why, why am I having problems with this? Um, but yeah, we'll come out to there. Then we'll kind of just connect them all across. Good. Come out, come across. Is that right? Uh, too far in front. Let's take that out and put that in. Yeah, that actually looks... That does look better. And then it does connect over here. Okay. We got that. So now we'll continue these back. Come out to there. Come down and back. Okay. Just kind of like that. It looks good. And then we can continue this all the way across and take that back like that. So there we go. We now have a little bit of a flat platform there. Still got our nice engines. Everything's good. All right. Just making sure we're, we're still doing well. All right, so I'm going to finish up. I'm going to do a little bit more detail on this thing, and I'll bring you guys back just as soon as uh, I'm done. All right, guys. Well, there it is. There's the Warthog. Well, I mean, kind of. There's, you know, it, <laughs> there's only so much you can do in a game like this, um, especially with, like, trying to recreate, like, certain vehicles and stuff like that. You know, I mean, we kind of ran in the same thing with the scorpion and one thing I do want to change here real quick that I really really did want to change and I just kind of forgot about until the last second here is uh, cutting off these sides oh I didn't want to cut that side off or this side let's put that back uh, and then there's even like there's um let's do this there's even like a, a windshield so like if we ever get glass in this game that could be pretty good. Um, you know, we can kind of pretend that that's a windshield. Uh, I think that there's even a crossbar. So if we if we get up here, and then we get out. There's even a crossbar between this and this. Oh, that's lower. See, all this needs to be raised now because I added this in. Ah, all right. That's all right. That's all right. So we'll just connect this up. Connect that up. There we go. Now you've got your crossbar. The uh, the the thing is actually pretty stable like the back end of the the carrier uh transport of the warthog is actually way bigger than the front end uh, but you know what you're gonna do but the thing like it turns like on a dime like you can see and it almost wants to tip i've added i've put the engines below the center of gravity to kind of lower it down uh as you guys can see, like there's there's a lot of stuff underneath the vehicle in this one, and that's because I just I wanted to lower it down so that I could uh, really not have to worry about it too much. But look, we're even having a hard time coming up this hill. All right, well, let's go ahead. We'll 
we'll roll backwards here a little bit, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to up these engines just a little bit here. And uh, in the last update, they added something else in, which I'm... Oh, 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 oh! Come on, come on! Maybe too much power. Too much power. Too much power! Come on! No! Get up there! No, 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 no! All right, well, let's go ahead and stop. <laughs> too much power, uh, which is A-OK. -okay. Let's just go ahead and drop that down one. Let's drop that down one. All right, there we go. Now, we can kind of flip this around. Whoop. Here we go. Let's head up here. All right, so that rear, that all-wheel turning is definitely a little wonky, but they did add something in the last update. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll show you guys here. They've added a horn. That's right. They've added a horn, which I find absolutely hilarious. Uh, if we pull up here let's get up here on the flat um, area here so our vehicle doesn't go rolling but if we come up here eh, eh, all right oh nope fell off eh, eh. yeah there we go we can see it right in there there's the horn so it's actually mine's just activated by a button so that's you can kind of set it to whatever pitch you want <laughs> but yeah, that's I found that pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just have it hooked up to a button, and then that button hooked up to the seat to where we can, uh, you know, hit it whenever we need to. But all right. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this Halo Warthog. Let me know what vehicle you'd like to see me do next. Uh, I think I have a couple more from Halo that I want to try and cover, like the Hornet. Um, and maybe even some of the Covenant vehicles as well. I don't know if I can do too many of those, uh, but we will try. So, but for now, guys, my name is Drax, and I'll see you in the next one.